given that among the lines passing through the point C3, 1, let us consider the point C3, 1, there are different lines passing through it. There are infinite lines can pass through this point. And among these all infinite lines, we need the line which is passing through C comma 1. BA is the farthest from origin. Means this BA, let us consider this point B and this is A. BA must be the farthest one from the origin. Means the perpendicular distance from origin to be the largest one. So here we can say that this is a perpendicular and for this line the perpendicular can be here. And for this line the perpendicular and here the perpendicular can be this. So we can see that when OC is perpendicular, OC is perpendicular to the line BA, then we can find this BA is farthest. So for this case, OC must be perpendicular to BA. So C is the point given 3 comma 1, then we can write slope of OC is equal to y2 minus y1 that is 1 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 0 that is 1 upon 3 and then we can write slope of BA is equal to minus 1 upon slope of OC that is minus 1 by 1 by 3 which is equal to negative 3. So slope of BA can be taken as minus 3 and it is passing through the point 3 comma 1. So equation of the line equation of the line BA can be taken as y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So y minus 1 is equal to negative 3 of x minus 3. So we can add y minus 1 is equal to negative 3x plus 9 or we can add 3x plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. And here we can get the intercept this line when it cuts the x axis at the point where y is equal to 0. So we can write when y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 10 upon 3. So we got the point A 10 by 3, comma 0. And similarly, when x is equal to 0, so we get y is equal to 10. So we get the point B here 0, comma 10. And now since the line say this point B 0 comma 10 and say this point is A 10 by 3 comma 0 and C is the point dividing so we need to find the ratio for this let us consider it as lambda is to 1. So we can write by using the section formula mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n. Similarly, m by 2 plus n by 1 by m plus n. So lambda times of 10 by 3, that is 10 lambda by 3 plus 1 times of 0 divided by lambda plus 1, which is equal to x coordinate 3. And similarly, lambda times of 0 plus 1 times of 10 divided by lambda plus 1 is equal to 1. So if you simplify the second case, so we can write 10 is equal to lambda plus 1 or lambda we can write it as 10 minus 1 that is 9. Even if we substitute here 10 by 3 into 9 that is 3, 30 divided by 10 is 3. So it is satisfying. So lambda can be taken as 9. So the ratio therefore BC is to CA is equal to, so we can write lambda is to 1 that is 9 is to 1. So we can go with an option A. Option A is the answer. The length of the perpendicular from the origin to the line. So let us consider the line. The length of the perpendicular from origin. 
to the line is 7 units say this is a m let us consider om and the line makes an angle of 150 degrees with the positive direction of y axis so with the positive direction of y axis it makes an angle 150 degrees so if it is 150 degrees we can consider here the remaining angle is 30 and if it is 30 degrees and here it is 90 degrees so we can say here complementary 90 minus 30 is 60 degrees and if 60 degrees is here and since it is a perpendicular x axis y axis so we can say this is 30 degrees so from here we can just generate that we can say that the line the perpendicular makes an angle 30 degrees The perpendicular makes an angle 30 degrees and the perpendicular distance is 7 units and so the equation of the line we have x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p where p is the length of the perpendicular from origin upon the line and alpha is the inclination of the perpendicular so here alpha is equal to 30 degrees and p is equal to 7 so we can write x cos 30 degrees plus y sin 30 degrees is equal to 7 that is x into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 plus y into 1 by 2 sin 30 which is equal to 7 or we can write root 3x plus y is equal to 14 so minus 14 or is equal to 14 so we can go with an option a We need to find the distance between the parallel lines represented by the combined formation that is 9x square minus 6xy plus y square plus 18x minus 6y plus 8 is equal to 0 which is in the form of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. It's a pair of straight lines. When this pair of straight lines represents parallel, when this pair of straight lines are parallel, then we can find the distance between them as is given by 2 root of g square minus a into c upon a times of a plus b so here when comparing a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 1 c is equal to 8 and here g is equal to 2gx that is g is equal to 9 so let us substitute here so the required answer is 2 under root of g square that is 9 square minus a into c divided by a times of a plus b so that is 2 root of 81 minus 72 divided by 9 into 10 so 2 root of 81 minus 72 is 9 9 divided by 9 into 10 so we can write 2 under root of 1 upon 10 so 2 by root 10 we can give the answer which is option A. We need to find the distance of the line from the point 1 comma 1. So this is point 1 comma 1 and the line and the line equation is 2x minus 3y is equal to 4 in the direction of the line means we need to find this distance 
in the direction of the line some line is given x plus y is equal to 1 so let us find the slope of this line here the slope m is equal to minus a by b that is minus 1 similarly we can consider here the slope will be same minus 1 so here also m is equal to minus 1 and we know the concept let us consider at a distance of r a point is considered on the line so we can write x1 plus if this is x1 y1 so we can write x1 plus r cos theta comma y1 plus r sin theta is the point let us take this point as m and since we have the slope of the line is minus 1 so we can write tan theta is equal to negative 1 so we can write here sin theta means it is of 45 degrees we can consider sorry 135 degrees tan 135 degrees is negative 1 so we can write sin 135 degrees which is equal to sin 90 plus 45 is minus co plus cos 45 so 1 by root 2 because 135 sin is positive and similarly cos 135 which is equal to minus 1 by root 2 cos is negative in second quadrant so the point can be taken here m as x1 plus that is 1 plus r cos 135 degrees that is minus 1 by root 2 comma y1 plus that is 1 plus r into 1 by root 2 so that is m 1 minus r by root 2 and 1 plus r by root 2 is the point which is lying which lies on the line 2x minus 3y is equal to 4 so let us substitute here so 2 times of 1 minus r upon root 2 minus 3 times of 1 plus r upon root 2 is equal to 4 on simplifying 2 minus 2r upon root 2 minus 3 plus 3r upon sorry minus minus 3r upon root 2 minus 4 is equal to 0 or we can write 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5 so negative 5 is equal to 2r plus 3r upon root 2 which implies so 5r upon root 2 is equal to negative 5 or we can write r is equal to minus root 2 so r cannot be negative so let us consider it to be positive so r is equal to root 2 so we can go with an option c since r is positive r is a length denoting so let us consider the mod so option sorry option c c is the answer if the lines 3y plus 4x is equal to 1 and y is equal to x plus 5 and 5y plus bx is equal to 3 are concurrent concurrent means all the three lines are passing through the same point means the point of intersection of the first two lines will pass through the third line so let us find this solve the equation by solving these two first equation and second equation y is equal to x plus 5 so we can write y x plus 5 plus 4x is equal to 1 that is 3x plus 5 plus 4x sorry 15 plus 4x is equal to 1 7x is equal to 1 minus 15 is minus 14 so x is equal to negative 2 substituting x is equal to negative 2 here y is equal to minus 2 plus 5 so y is equal to 3 so you got x value negative 2 and y value is 3 so 
2 minus 2 comma 3 is the point of intersection so this point must satisfy minus 2 comma 3 must satisfy the third line that is 5y plus bx is equal to 3 that is 5 times of 3 plus b times of minus 2 is equal to 3 so minus 2b is equal to 3 minus 15 that is minus 2b is equal to minus 12 so b is equal to 6 so the value of b can be taken as 6 to become all the three lines concurrent so option c